guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look since Valentine's Day is coming around the corner. And because I just got this new eyeshadow from Colourpop that I've been loving, it's um, a burgundy color, and which is my favorite. It's called Central Perk. And then I decided to pair it up. Pair it up. I can't talk. I decided to pair it up with... Um, Colourpop and Kathleen Light's collaboration Lumiere 2. I was excited because I like matte liquid lipsticks better. I didn't get her original Lumiere lipstick. So I was excited to find out that she had made a matte liquid lipstick. So yeah, um, it's really short and simple. I only did the eyes. If you guys want a more glam look and you want to see a full face tutorial, you can watch my last video. I have a full face tutorial and it's really glam, um, glitter and everything. I made it for New Year's but it works completely fine for any special occasion, Valentine's Day, prom, birthday, anything. So yeah, if you like this look, please keep watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and put down in the comments any looks you would want to see. It doesn't only have to be makeup, it can be transformations or makeup hauls or anything that you guys want me to try for you thank you so much for watching i hope you guys like it um please don't forget to subscribe so you can see what i come up with next and i'll see you guys in the next one bye first i'm going to start by priming my eyelids i'm just using the primer that came with my laura pro palette but you can use whatever primer you'd like now before starting, I'm just going to apply a shadow shield right under my eye to protect my concealer. Then I'm going to take the shadow caramel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to mix it with the light brown from the Laura Pro palette. And then I'm going to apply that all over my crease. Following that, I'm just going to take a clean blending brush to blend it all over. Make it nice and smooth. Now since I want to use the same blending brush as before, I'm just going to run it through my Veramona color switch. And then I'm going to apply the color Morocco from Anastasia Beverly Hills and blend it out as well. With this look, it doesn't really matter if you go a little below the crease since we are going to darken that up later. Now I'm going to take Central Perk from Colourpop. It's a beautiful burgundy color like I told you guys before. And then I'm just going to run my finger through the shadow and apply that with my finger all over my eyelid. I use my pinky to try to be more precise and stay on the eyelid since later we're just going to blend that upward. But I'm trying not to get it in the crease because that will darken up my crease and then I can't make it lighter from there. Then like I said before, we're just going to take a blending brush and blend that into the crease nicely. This one is one of my favorites, it's the E40 from Sigma. Now I'm just going to take a detailed shadow mini brush and apply more eyeshadow because I want my smoky eye to be darker, but if you like it lighter, you can skip this step. And just as before, I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend it out into the crease. Now I'm going to take that same mini shadow brush and I'm going to apply a black shadow right above my lash line. That is to give me some room for error when I'm applying um, mascara or putting on my eyelashes. Now I'm just going to apply the same eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I wanted to try a new method with this silicone brush since I just bought it, but you can do it with whatever works for you. Now I'm going to take this angled brush and I'm going to apply caramel right under central perk on my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to highlight in the usual areas. I'm going to do the inner corner of the eye and on the brow bone. We're almost done. I'm just going to apply mascara and then I'm going to put on some false lashes. And 
and I'm just applying some highlight into the brow bone really quick because I almost forgot to and a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes now moving on to the lips I'm just gonna moisturize them and then I'm gonna blot them before I apply the matte liquid lipstick I like this one because it has vitamin E on it so I feel like it nourishes my lips and after that I'm just gonna line my lips with any natural looking lip liner so I can give them a little bit more definition before I apply the matte liquid lipstick now last step for the lips I'm just gonna take Colourpop's Lumiere 2 matte liquid lipstick and I'm just gonna apply it that's it 